This is a big change on how I mounted the wires for the slip rings for the M1 A2 Abrams tank hang long. What I did is I moved the slip ring, which was off center on this little hole down here, moved it up further so it was more in as close as you can get to the center of the tank, and yet still allow clearance for the gun to move up and down. So what I did is I drilled a new hole, moved the slip ring over, push it down as far as I can, and bundled the wires off to one side. Nothing moves in here relative to each other except for the gun going back of the gun going up and down. So if you keep all of the wires off to one side, it's, it's not going to rub on anything inside here. So I coiled up the wires from the slip ring and put a little cable tie underneath there. I made two spacers out of some plastic. They're one and a quarter inches long and I made the piece of plexiglass that goes across and holds the wires. And the wires go down through this hole which has got nicely rounded edges so it doesn't cut the wires. And the wires are not twisting in any way. What they're doing is they're just moving back and forth as you'll see in a minute. So if we leave enough slack in here for where the wires are at their longest which is directly opposite of where it comes across and that's where you have the maximum length of the wires as this comes around these wires will move down in this direction so this will push up a little bit the inside of the bottom of the tank uh, is only about a half of an inch above the motor so we don't have much clearance in here and that was the problem if you go the harness having to move all the way around all the time it was passing over the top of this and it got caught up on it this way the bottom of the airsoft gun clears the underside of that 1 16th inch plexiglass by well, less than a 16th of an inch is pretty close and then the bottom of the tank will be right up against that hold those wires pretty much in place so now I'm going to rotate the gun and you'll see how that works we can do this in either direction now keep in mind that the bottom of the tank is going to keep those wires flat so I'll just push it down for now and all of the turning and twisting is right here in the this uh, slip ring you can see this yellow wire coming out it's pretty much always on that one side as you go around may twist a little bit but that's all right that's all the flexing that slip ring is made to go 360 degrees so i can keep going on and on and on and i have no hanging up so i think that's a big improvement mm -hmm.